It is uh, Thursday morning and it is Valentine's Day. Uh, Courtney is still asleep. She's not She's not feeling too well. Um, the babies are asleep as well. I'm getting ready to head to the store to do a little bit of uh, uh, grocery shopping and to... Let me explain. Okay, so today's Valentine's Day and I don't have anything crazy planned for, for Courtney. Um, see, the thing is, she's she's sleeping right now, and she's not feeling too well. She hasn't been feeling well for the last, well, it started like a couple of days ago, but yesterday she, she, she had to cancel like two plans just because she wasn't feeling well. Um, plus, we have the babies. Uh, they just turned three months, so can't really do anything too crazy. But I figured I would still try to, to plan a, a special day out for her. So my plan is to to approach her and just ask her like what what she wants to what she wants to do today, what she wants to get into. Um, but I already kind of know what she would be thinking, so I'm going to go ahead and set myself up for for success. All right, so here's the deal. Courtney loves movies, and there's nothing more she would rather do than cuddle up and watch movies all day. So I figured part of the plan today would be for me to carve out some time and we have a movie marathon. The other thing that I figured she would appreciate is if I um, cooked her every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which is why I'm racing off to uh, head to the grocery store. So while I'm at the grocery store, Courtney's been talking to me about creating an album for Jude and Jocelyn where it has all the relatives from their grandparents to their aunts and uncles to their cousins. Um, so we'd, we'd build this album and start to read it to them. That way they're familiar with their family. And so I figured part of today when I go to the grocery store is to find the supplies to make the kids album. And then of course you have to get a little bit cliche, but for Courtney, she, she absolutely loves flowers. And so I figured I would uh, put the icing on the cake and get her flowers. You saw the other face I brought earlier that, yeah, that was looking kind of sad. All right, so finally made it back home. I got the stuff. Uh, got the photo albums for Jude and Jocelyn. Got the flowers. Got some uh, sparkling wine. I was gonna make uh, mimosas. And what else did I get? Uh, and then and then obviously got the food. I'm making chicken right now. But I failed in in one area, and that is I forgot that she had a meeting today at 12 o'clock. She told me yesterday and this morning I got up and I guess I was just trying to plan plan this out. I forgot to uh, I forgot to realize that she had that meeting going on. I believe this was our second trip to Galveston with my family. Yeah. Here's Courtney and I for uh, Christmas with Jocelyn and Jude. Whoa. That was uh, Courtney's first trip to Houston to visit me. Uh, we were in my apartment. I 
think this was Courtney and I's first business trip together. This was the first night I met Courtney. Or at least the first weekend I met Courtney. We went to a drag party in New Orleans, which was crazy and insane. Check out this photo. That's Courtney right there. Two weeks after meeting her, we went to Putten Bay for our second date. For our first official date, but it was our second time meeting each other. And last one. That's Courtney when she was pregnant, me kissing her belly.